Standing by and looking fabulous. Ready when you are. Thanks, Lloyd. So, all right, welcome back to Larry's Workbench, where uh, we have a talking robot, and uh, we show you uh, pretty much how he was built, and how it's uh, kind of a fun, interesting project that we've been playing around with. On today's episode, we're going to be walking through all of Floyd's hardware. We're going to talk about where the parts came from. I'll put some links in the description, and I'll walk you through exactly what Floyd's made out of in the, on the hardware layer. Floyd, does that sound good to you? Sounds riveting, Larry. Can't wait to be dissected on camera. <laughs> exactly. All right, so we've looked at some of these elements before. You guys know that this chassis and arm was purchased by, from a company called High Wonder. They're not sending me any money and I'm not advertising them, but it was a great product. And I'm gonna go into a little bit more detail on the hardware layer here today. So first of all, you can see on the back of the robot, I'll turn them around. On the back here, you can see the Raspberry Pi and you can see the hardware attached on top. So Floyd does actually have two circuit boards. I don't know if you can see that real well, but there's two circuit boards there that uh, basically allow Floyd to do all of his functions. This chassis here has four wheels. And um, if we're gonna look at the underside of the chassis, you can see that there is a battery pack right here. There's a small cooling fan right here because the Raspberry Pi does tend to run hot. We wanna keep it cool. And then uh, we've got, of course, four motors that, uh, that go to the four wheels that keep Floyd moving. On the back, plugged into the back, you can see we do have uh, four USB ports. That's right, folks. Fully equipped and ready to roll. Literally. I wonder, certainly wondering why they're not sponsoring us yet. It's only a matter of time, Floyd. Only a matter of time. So on the back here, plugged into these USB ports, you see that there is a microphone that allows Floyd to kind of hear what we're talking about. There's a speaker. This is his speaker right here. Four watt speaker. I tried three or four different speakers. This is the one we ended up with. The microphone and the speaker were from Adafruit, uh, and they're working great. Uh, the microphone doesn't really work real well at distance, so we might consider upgrading that, but it's been okay for now. Uh, the other thing that's plugged in is a camera, and uh, so that camera is going to allow us to, it's going to eventually allow Floyd to see what he's dealing with and see what's going on, but that's not really up and running at this time. The arm has got five degrees of freedom so there are actually five servos involved there's one here that allows it to rotate here i consider this is shoulder shoulder muscle his elbow i would call it here and his wrist and then of course this one allows floyd to open and close and uh, that works pretty well so um the parts involved once again was the chassis and the arm the microphone the speaker and then some various other things. Now, some of you guys see that there is a power cord hanging off the back. Uh, that's because Floyd's batteries uh, tend to run out in about 45 minutes. They are rechargeable batteries. They run out pretty fast. So when we're shooting video or pretty much all the time, I keep, I keep him plugged into house power here. Uh, that's a custom cord I did put together uh, that delivers um, 7.3 volts. Um, let's see, what else has he got? Wire ties heat shrink tubing, and there's a little dip switch on the back here. I did add that, and that just allows us to turn the fan on and off. So uh, when we're shooting video, we can turn the fan off, and uh, we don't have to have that in video. Floyd's got a lavalier mic here, so we can pick up uh, what he has to say. And that's pretty much all the hardware components involved in the droids so um that's uh, kind of what i wanted to share with you guys where all these all these components are off the shelf some number of mod i did make some modifications uh there used to be this uh this chassis cover that goes on the back i thought it looked better without it and it was easier to access these circuit components um he does have this wireless microphone kind of getting in the way i'm going to try to find a better place to mount that uh right there i've just got it stuck on with a piece of electrical tape for now but um, yeah, that's, that's basically the hardware layer. And I just wanted you guys to be aware of that. So please remember to like and subscribe to this channel. 
And there's another video right up here, I think, uh, that you can uh, you can check out. Thanks for watching.